Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Tuesday, the 25th of August. Starting off with Amigo Holdings, where a bit of a battle between the bulls and the bears. Uh, neither particularly happy at the, at the moment, apparently, and uh, taking it out on each other on uh, social media. Uh, we had uh, the, uh, I suppose, the double top there with the uh, July. Uh, peak at uh, 19.4 pence, a sort of bull bull trap right through that and through 20 pence, which wasn't very nice, especially when there was a gap down on uh, Monday, yesterday. Uh, looks as though there's a bit of interest uh, here at um, uh, 13 pence uh, or just below on both days. My 11 pence uh, was the low today, so 11 pence uh, on both days. I suppose the point to note, if you're deciding whether this is a half full or half empty, technically, is that. Uh, the RSI at 57 is above neutral 50, so that is a valid way of saying uh, one would be a buyer on dips rather than a seller into strength. That's maybe something to note. Um, only below neutral 50 on the RSI would uh, get us uh, uh, flipping the other way around. So I suppose the, the, the easiest thing to say here is that while we're above 11 pence on an end of day close basis, there's a chance of uh, filling that gap uh, up towards uh, the 16 pence level. Uh, left over the weekend but uh, at the moment obviously a little bit of a uh, a neutral situation in the middle of the recent range uh, next stock is escape hunt and i've chosen this especially for type of people who like to um, buy stocks near the low buy stocks which are sort of bombed out uh, this looks like it's already had its consolidation at the low so around uh, six and a half pence for the last couple of months and uh, the volatility dried down to nothing, so that is a uh, positive as well. Tends to be before a move up, uh, volatility goes down. Um, here we've got also a very strong candle for today, opened at the low, currently at the high. Uh, an end of day close above the 50 day moving average at 7.4 pence. The uh, blue line there could take the shares up to a best case scenario target uh, at uh, the April resistance line projection, top of that uh, triangle, as high as 12 pence over the next one to two months. Uh, easy stop loss just back below the recent six and a half pence support on a mid price basis. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe wait for eight pence to br uh, break, but uh, I've taken the 50 day line at 7.4 as the particular trigger uh, here. Uh, next up, uh, Eurasia Mining, where uh, there was a nice little rally uh, yesterday. Obviously, a few um, clairvoyants in, in the market. Uh, 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 guessed what was coming up. Uh, just thought I'd update the chart just in terms of the near term situation because obviously I had that uh, uh, pie in the sky target of 70 pence on the longer article I wrote a couple of weeks back. But uh, we're in a rising trend channel from the beginning of July, floor of the channel level with the 20 day moving average at 20.85 pence, so above 20 pence at the moment, uh, looking for the top of last month's channel up towards uh, 32, 33 pence. Obviously, we had the peak today so far at 29 pence but the, the levels there 20 and 33 for Eurasia at the moment. On to another uh, highly followed stock or it was um, a few months uh, ago. Uh, Hemogenics. Uh, I think the, the thing to note here really was uh, or has been the way that um, the shares after that big uh, April rally have taken what's that four months to uh, consolidate and take up the slack of the uh, rise uh, but this is looking encouraging in the sense that we've had support at or just around the 50-day line and uh, we've broken uh, we broke one resistance line there around seven and a half pence so that was you could have been long from there uh, middle of last month but this looks rather more exciting in the sense that uh, we've got uh, clear neckline resistance there at 10 pence and above 10 pence uh, looking for the top of the rising trend channel uh, from April as high as 22 or even 23 pence as soon as the end of uh, next month. Uh, next contender is uh, IQAI, which I know there's a lot of people who uh, follow this stock as well. Uh, AI, obviously the buzzword at the moment, has been for uh, maybe the last year or two. Uh, here we've got a situation where we've broken the near-term August triangle at uh, 5 pence. End of day close above 5 pence could take the shares up to... Uh, the top of the June tr uh, triangle, uh, sorry, June trend channel at eight and three quarter pence. Stop loss on the bull argument at the moment, back below the twenty day moving average and the tr and the triangle at four point three seven pence. 
uh, stock which is uh, relatively more obscure is um, N, uh, NTech, in, in other words, uh, NTech, in fact. Uh, here we've broken that line of resistance from July at 14 pence. While we're above that, uh, and especially while we're above the 50-day moving average at 13 pence, looking to that May resistance line projection as high as 19 pence. Uh, stock which uh, has probably been one of the worst white knuckle rides uh, of the recent past uh, is up next. Uh, it comes in the form of remote monitored systems. It looks almost looks as though there's something wrong with the uh, the data feed, but uh, no. Uh, here we've had uh, that spike to 70 0.7 uh, pence, which actually was the uh, target ahead of time uh, at the top of that rising trend channel uh, from December. So it does show that these uh, channel project projections can work. Currently, if we ignore the spikes of uh, Monday and Friday, we're in a bull flag at and around uh, former resistance, post-April resistance of 0.4 pence. Probably looking now for an end-of-day close through 0.42, which was the initial August resistance. If we get that, then we could actually eventually see the shares uh, head up to uh, 0.65 or 0.70, uh, 0.7 rather, in a, an orderly fashion, not the blink and you missed it affair that we've had uh, stop loss at the moment uh, back below the 20-day line at 0.34 uh, stock which is uh, doesn't have uh, much of a chart at all but uh, maybe worth uh, looking at is um, savannah energy uh, here we've broken out of this uh, triangle uh, from the end of april at eight and a half pence while we're above eight and a half pence looking for the uh, top of that trend channel from april as high as 13 pence initially um, over the next few weeks, stop loss back below the 50-day moving average at 7.6 pence. Uh, just a couple of stocks to go in this uh, rather marathon session. First up is um, Alien Metals, uh, which hopefully will appear. And here we've got uh, the stock bouncing off uh, that line of resistance uh, from November. Uh, that is at 0.33. So while we're above that, at 0.33, looking for uh, a... Uh, May resistance line projection from last year as high as 0.5 pence. Finishing off with a, a stock which I was or a company I was quite excited to uh, interview this morning and hopefully that will come out relatively soon. Uh, Supply Me Capital. Here you can see that uh, we had uh, uh, this is a fr former annotations from a previous article, a recent article. Uh, 0.6 was the best case scenario target uh, when we were down at 0 0.06. Obviously that was. Uh, uh, achieved. Uh, then we had another trend line then hit around 0.9 um, uh, last week. Uh, the current situation is that above 0.6, what we expect the, the near-term range to be between 0.6 and 0.9, maybe up to 0.95 between those two April uh, resistance or uh, trend line projections on the daily chart. So 0.6 to 0.95 at the moment. Uh, the likely trading range on Supply Me Capital. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.